Welcome to Evermentor YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the notification for PhD entrance examination 2023 from one of the government college. And here you may check down that the multiple subject related PhD vacancies are available in this university. So whoever the candidates related to this, to this subjects and if you are interested to do the PhD in from the government college, it will be the wonderful opportunity. So share this video link to your friends or colleagues who are looking for this type of opportunity. It might be very well, I mean very much helpful to them. And after watching this video, if your requirement is not there, then mention your requirement in the comment section. If I got the recruitment or admission notification uh, as per your suitable uh, requirement, then definitely I will come up in the next video. So to get my next video as a notification, subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon and watch this video until the end to get the complete details regarding this multiple subjects PhD vacant seats from the government college. And now while coming to the present content of this video, it is the University of uh, Kerala. So after entering into its official website of this University of Kerala, okay, then you, you may check down here in the research and then go to the PhD entrance and then you will be directed to this web page. So here if you scroll down, you will get the PhD notification for the uh, entrance notification for the 2023 will check down here. So if you just click here, then you will be directed to this web page. So you may check down regarding this notification for the PhD entrance examination. Uh, while coming to the important dates, date of publication of notification 20th August and the commencement of submission of application 21st August and the closing date is 19th September, issuing of hall ticket 6th uh, October and the date of entrance examination is 21st October 2023. And coming to the eligibility criteria, only post graduation in the relevant discipline with a not less than 55% of max then those candidates can apply for these positions. Okay, and anyhow, out of the 55 percentage in your post graduation, there is a 5 percentage of relaxation of marks to the candidates who belongs to SC, ST, SCBC, and the differently abled and other categories of the candidates as per the government, I mean, university, or the state uh, conditions. So, candidates who have appeared for the final semester or year of the master's degree examination and whose who candidates are the waiting for the results, okay, should upload the certificate is prescribed formally, duly signed by your principal or head of the department and the candidates who qualified for the UG Senate or the UG Senate JRF or SLET okay so these type of candidates are exempted from the entrance test conducting by this university and these candidates can directly go for the interview okay so it is one thing and coming to the scheme of the test general aptitude test will be of three hours of duration and will carry a max of 100 marks Entrance test will be conducted at the center itself on 21st October. Okay. And changes of centers or dates, if any, that will be notified in the portal itself. And that paper is containing, I mean, the test is consists of two papers. One is the part here, research methodology 50% and another one is part B. Your, whatever your subject, relevant subject, 50% will be there. And the pass requirement is minimum 50% of marks for each part of all category, except the SCSC candidates has to score 40 marks from the entrance test. Okay. So, subjects offered for the entrance test with faculty is given here. Coming to the applied science and technology, the subjects are biotechnology, computational biology and bioinformatics, computer science, environmental sciences, future studies, microbiology, computational linguistics, nanoscience and nanotechnology, optoelectronics, technology management and coming to the arts, communication and journalism, English, German, library and information science, philosophy, Russian and commerce and education. Coming to the engineering and technology, chemical, computer science, computational biology and bioinformatics, electrical and electronics, electronics and communication, mechanical, civil architecture, industrial engineering and management and coming to the fine arts, music, theatre arts and film aesthetics from, for education and law and management studies, tourism management, physical education and from the science department, the subjects are aquatic biology and fisheries, biochemistry, botany, chemistry, demography and population studies, geography, geology, home science, mathematics, physics, psychology, statistics and zoology. Coming to the social sciences, archaeology, economics, history, Islamic history, political science, public administration, social work and sociology. And from the oriental studies, Arabic, Hindi, linguistics, Malayalam, Sanskrit, Tamil. So these are all the different subjects. Guys. The list of PG degrees considered as eligible qualification for appearing of the PhD entrance examination. So how to apply for this uh, PhD is that, so if you go to this uh, web page, then here itself you can apply guys, okay, so how to apply the PhD registration is given here. So if you click on this one and then it will be directed to the 
uh, online application uh, portal so with the help of this portal you can start filling up of the so how to apply is given here okay entrance or the registration so everything you you can proceed with the help of this web page right and coming to the application fee and all uh, the registration fee for general or acbc 1075 and for acst 550 rupees is the application fee so these are all the complete uh, details and offline applications are not accepted only online application is accepted so if you want to apply for this position you have to apply only through the official website of this university okay so share this video link to your friends or colleagues who want to get the phd admission from the government college so it might be the very good opportunity and it's a state university so to get the more notifications like this don't forget to subscribe the channel and after subscribing tap the bell icon for all the notifications thank you very much for spending your valuable time to watch this video and all the best to the applicants